today's vlog, the best vlogging lens. Woo. Hey guys and welcome back to the John and Q channel. Thank you so much for watching and in today's video, a little bit of a mix up. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about the best vlogging lens for you, for YouTube creation, photography, filmmaking, etc. But it's not gonna go as planned because something happened and it's this. Yes, what you're seeing right there, folks, is my car in a little, it's, it shouldn't even be called the ditch. It's not even a ditch, it's a little divot. I was actually gonna perch up right over there and talk about the best vlogging lens with you guys, but change of plans, I'm just gonna do it on the fly here because who needs to sit down when you can just vlog, tell you guys what's happening while I figure this thing out, try to get it out of what, like, how? Like, I was driving on this road, driving on the road, coming down, like I just needed less than 50 feet and I would be parked, but no. And I was not texting and driving, I was not distracted, and all of a sudden, boom. So, there's that, love it. According to my calculations, I would say the car is a little stuck. Ah, it's stupid Joby tripod. Okay, so there's tons of lenses out there, right? And I've tried pretty much all of them and I've used them for vlogging. Hold on. Let me preface this by saying I'm a Canon user. I only use Canon. Uh, I'm not paid to do it. I Nobody sponsors me to use Canon. I just, I love Canon. So I just want to make sure that's clear. Canon lenses like the 1018, uh, 10 to 18 millimeter, 10 to 22, and 16 to 35. Like I've realized those lenses, the wider you can get in a vlogging scenario like this, the better so that your audience can see more of what is in the background, more of what you're doing versus having it just a 35 millimeter just like this. This is just at 35. If I was vlogging on a 35, I'd have to extend my arm super wide and super out so that you can make sure you see the background. But because at 16, I'm always filming at 16 just so you guys can get a feel for what I'm seeing. Same thing with the 10 to 18 and 10 to 22. And I've tried those lenses and those are great lenses, but I feel like I was always missing a certain aspect, a certain key component to my vlogs and my videos. And that I think, and I think it's uh, depth of field. Okay. I hear snowmobiles and I've, I'm hoping that they can come over here and help me out. I think it's, for me personally, is depth of field. And I think the 1018 to 1022 lenses only go like 4.5 to like 5.6. Right now I'm using 16 to 35 Canon 2.8 version three lens. And that's at 2.8. I'm shooting at 2.8 and it's lovely because you get me in focus and you get, hopefully the background is a blur. I can't really see because there's snow falling in my eyes. It's a little bright out, but I'm everything exposed properly. But the, hopefully the background is blurry and that's what I like to see personally in videos. It kind of shows, you know, shows you a little bit of the cinematic feel to the video or your vlog. And that's why I think the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter lens is perfect for that, okay? And it's, it's not a prime, lens it's a zoom lens but it only goes to 35 millimeters but that's a great range and i've also used you know lenses like the 18 to 135 that is a great lens too great focal length but it's i think still at 3.5 or 4.5 it doesn't go down to 2.8 and that's what i was feeling that i was missing i was feeling that kind of you know that that piece people out there looking for the best you know vlogging lens typically what you want to see in a vlog or a video like this um, is again the background you want to see as much as the background and you're probably thinking why not just stick to 1018 or 1022 uh, good point that's six millimeters more uh, of backgroundness that I could get into the camera into the frame but you know it just at at some point I think it gets too wide now I'm not saying too wide is bad all I'm, all I'm saying is I'm touching on the point that sometimes the ends would warp it kind of would give you kind of this like 
I don't know, if you can see my hand now, it kind of is like all jacked up, like my elbow is, because I'm super wide. But it just, like it's normal here, then it gets a little, a little off, you know? It just, that kind of effect, that warpy effect, happening quite a bit in all of my videos. That is why I'm using the Canon 16 to 35 millimeter for my vlogs right now, the 2.8 version three by Canon. Now, if you can dish out like $2,000, and if you can buy it used, I think for maybe 15, 16, something like that. If you can dish it out, I promise you it is a great lens for vlogging. It is a great lens for filming video. It is a great lens for photography. And all of my videos, the last like two, three months, I've been using nothing but the 16 and 35 millimeter lens. It's quite literally amazing. This lens renders beautiful photos, beautiful film, and it's amazing, I love it. I love it specifically for vlogging as well. Like it's, it's just a great overall lens. And after a bunch of pushing, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And got out of that ditch. This is the 1635 2.8 version three by Canon. And the version three, like I used to shoot like so much on the version two the 16 to 35 version two. And the 16 to 35 version two, when you zoomed in, this is the zoom, it would actually come out like a normal, you know, zoom lens. But the version three, you actually, you zoom in and like, it's all internal, it doesn't come out. Like it's just, this is what you get. This is the size, it's very portable, it's very small, it can fit in your pocket just with ease. You know, boom, there it is. Got nothing on my person besides a lens. So it's just as easy as that to take it out as well. If you want the best, if you want to invest in the best, you kind of have to get the best. And I really do think that the 16 to 35 2.8 version three, how many times have I said that today? Like probably so many times. It's the best lens for vlogging. Like look at this, this is all I need. 16, I'm at 16 millimeters wide. You see the car behind me, you see all these beautiful trees. If I were like at 10, I would be more like this. I. Personally, I don't want that. So, this is, whew, okay, it's starting to get cold. I'm gonna head out, I gotta do stuff today. So, this vlog, this video really turned out to be differently than what I expected it to be. So, I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm so glad, so glad that I got my car out of that stupid ditch. And if you like this video, please like it. Please comment, I would love to get to know what you're gonna be doing, what lens you're using for your vlogging, for your photography, for video, etc. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time on the John Q channel. Peace. Stupid tire got stuck in the snow. Ugh.